Hey, what's up, Star Status? It's 3D the Rap Star, aka is the Benz Man, back again with another video. And for the most part, I always normally talk about Mercedes Benz, but the reason why I'm bringing this Bentley to the channel because it is one of my favorite cars. And on top of that, the crowd with the CL or the crowd with the S Coupe or any top line Mercedes, we often want to move up and see the Bentley as an upgrade. I will have the link in the description to the original video, so shout out to the car wizard he bring what it's really like to mechanically work on these cars. And remember, I just recently made the top three worst luxury cars to own and this car was on there. But I wanted to do a little bit more deep dive and show you guys what makes this thing so unreliable. 2012 Bentley Continental GT, and it is in very, very good shape. It was in good shape when it came here, we have finished doing a lot of services to it to brought it up to the next level. And this was my favorite Bentley right here, like right when it got that updated look, like right when they refreshed the look, like the 2012 and up, like this indeed is my favorite one. I would settle for 0405, but this is my favorite one. There were one. a few items on this car I cannot fix. So he's just telling you, he's just keeping it real. You know, it's stuff on this car that he cannot fix. Like, you think that we could just get these cars and okay, they'll just keep being reliable because we'll just keep throwing money at it. No, in the Bentley world, it does not work like that. I'm gonna open it and show you guys where the problem lies. As you can see right there, that is the boot closing motor. It says Bentley on it. Man, did y'all see how long that trunk took to open? Like that alone, I'm scared off that. Like it already just looked like it wasn't working right. It's not too bad of a job to do if you can get the new motor and there it all right y'all so y'all hear what he's saying that's if you could get the new motor for this thing lies the problem so originally i quoted to do this job and the motor itself is like eighteen hundred dollars it's expensive that's my cost dang that little motor piece is two thousand dollars like that's not even the labor that's why i think he's saying you know like that's my cost i would have had to add on top of that with shop markup very very expensive to replace that motor but the customer said that's fine i'm ready to pay it let's do it yeah so, so most of the time when you buy this car anyway you kind of know what you're getting into so that will be the next move let's just go ahead and do it i started placing orders i called several companies we can't get a hold of that i tried flying spares and i actually paid for the part and then they were like Nah, bro, there are none. And see, so that's why I'm trying like, to spread what? this information as much as I can. So sometimes reliability, not about it just being you drove it for three years and nothing breaks. But what if something does break? You heard what he just said, like the parts, they don't even have a lot of these parts. We called them and they're like, it doesn't matter if you send us 50 grand, you're not going to get a motor. There are none. So there you heard it. The man, the myth, the legend himself, he just told you like, he called the place they don't have the part so a lot of time when you see these bentley's in these garages or at these shops for so long and they're just broke down this is why so finally the customer called bentley actually the dealership i think and said look i'm ready to pay the money can i just buy one of these motors they said sure he plunked the cash down and then one week went by and we didn't have a motor and another week went by and he didn't have a motor so basically, you just kind of buying a car with parts that they don't even make no more. Like, it just don't make sense to actually buy this great looking car. And then a third week went by. He finally called them and it's like, what's going on here? Where's the motor? And they're like, it's ordered. It'll be here. September of next year. He was like, what? You told me you guys had one. I said, well, we do. We're we're hoping for September of next year. And that just about sums that up. So parts, they don't have active parts because some of these Bentleys have exclusive headliners, exclusive LGT. other things. There's a lot of really cool things about this car, but one really cool thing is, is it has just a little over 5,000 miles. So to put it in perspective, that's why a lot of these Bentleys still be having lower mileage. Like you can get an 05 today with like 41K 50, on the clock. 5,000 miles. It's in very good shape, except for a few items, and we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. That is not standard Bentley equipment. So yeah. 
So it's a lot of common things on this car that break down that just, it just costs too much to maintain. You just saw Mrs. Wizard annotated that the headliner is not damaged. It's completely missing out of this car. And there's a good reason for that. It's because Magic Mike has removed it. Yeah, I often hear a lot of times the main problems on these cars include headliner, third brake light problems, which is that brake light that's on the top where water gets in there. A lot of electrical components, engine light. It's currently at Lowen Upholstery. One of the concerns with this car that the customer brought it here for was the headliner was starting to sink. It's starting to come separated from the actual board up top. And yep, I often hear about that quite often. So I hope y'all informed like me because this is one of my favorite cars. That's why I'm making another video on it because I like this car. I mean, we can still get it, but just be aware. And he just didn't want to just take it to anybody and have that done. He wanted it done properly. This is going to be expensive. This is going to be the most expensive thing that we do to this car while it's here. Man, I don't even want to imagine of what it costs to fix something like this, like the price for it. Because remember, you got to get the actual color. A lot of these Bentleys had rare interiors that only qualify to that car. You guys know it's a Bentley. You don't get in a hurry with power tools inside the interior and start putting tears and runs on the nice leather. You take your time and you very softly and gently take the interior apart. This is not something you do for a speed race to try to beat the time or try to beat the book time on it. The tricky thing here is that the entire headliner is covered in that expensive Bentley leather that smells so good. So, yep, so don't be fooled, y'all, when y'all see a lot of these cars on the market. It could be a 2005, it could be a 2007 with only like 10,000 miles on it. The headliner could be already sagging. Stuff on this car could already be felling. And it is an older car, so I mean, you I don't do just get go it. to a corner store and buy a roll of Bentley leather. I don't even know where you would buy that at. See, so he's even putting it into perspective for me because even I didn't see it from this angle. Like, yeah, that's a one-to-one -one roof liner that they don't even make no more. Like these Toyotas, you can get parts anywhere today yeah, for a 99. Headliners. There's no, there's none for sale. And the color combinations they use in these cars are so different from one car to the next, you probably would never find the correct combination. I said, we have to reuse the old leather. There's no option. So let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, and you got to go ahead and reuse the old leather. Yeah, it's going to be even more money. And labor on these things are just so high for something simple. No customer is going to want to pay 10 hours of labor where we literally pull all the panels out of their car to find nothing. That could be $2,000 in labor. All right, so even right there, so the problem right there is they were saying it's a light bulb issue that was coming on the dash. So just a simple light bulb, that could be $5. But he said he searched the whole car, and the problem looks more likely that it's not just a light bulb issue. It might be an engine issue. With this car being at very much low mileage, so please be aware, because I want one of these things too, but please be aware of all these potential problems. Signing off, Ben's man.